Hello, and welcome back to another Outlaw Walkthrough. Today, we're going to be discussing how to redline, edit, and comment on documents that you've generated. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, you'll notice that we are working out of our file line. So we are using FVDA to generate this document. Now that we've opened it, we can control this and do a split screen because we are in file line. And you can see here that also we are currently in the review phase. We do have a couple of signature blocks here. So any edits I need to make to this document, I need to make before I share this out with my signing parties. Once I share this out with my signing parties, I'm not gonna be able to edit or comment or redline on any of this because that's considered an edit and you can't do so once a party has signed. Um, so let's go ahead and now that we've kind of set that aside, let's go ahead and jump in on how to actually edit and redline and comment once you've generated a document. So you can see here, as I'm just dragging my cursor over these, these are different paragraphs that I can actually click into and edit. So let's just say at the top that maybe for some reason, you know, my client's name was incorrect. This is obviously a file line connected code. So it's gonna be pulling in this project client up here. However, maybe I don't wanna add, maybe that's the wrong client, maybe something's spelled wrong. I don't wanna have to regenerate this document. I just wanna make the change here and move along and then I can fix it later. So you have a couple of options of what you can do. The first one would be you can redline. Uh, maybe I wanna make a note instead of, maybe the client's name isn't spelled wrong. Maybe I just wanna say, you know, present this in a different way. Maybe I wanna include their middle name or something like that. So if I wanted to do that and I have redlining turned on here, it's auto turned on when you click into a paragraph. So I can just go ahead and hit backspace. And then I can just make, you know, like a comment like, replace this field and then hit save. So what's basically happening here, and I can actually maybe show you on this next one, maybe we can, I can show you just here so you get a little better view um, just because that one is a connected variable so it's not showing up as well when I try and redline it. But as you can see here, as I push that backspace, since I'm in the redline mode, it's not actually deleting it. So when I can go ahead and save this, and then when other people come into this contract, they can see, oh, I redlined this. Maybe I want to get rid of it. Maybe I need another pair of eyes on it before we actually delete it. So that's kind of how we can use the redlining. And some, you know, depending on the permissions of each user for this contract, some people are only going to be able to redline. Uh, some people are going to be able to edit and comment and do other things like that. But you know, there are permissions that we can lock down so only certain people can redline. It's basically the lowest form of editing available to that permission. So that is an option, you know, if you just wanna have somebody going in redline, but you don't actually want them to edit or delete things, this is a good way to work around that. Now we could say here that maybe on this next paragraph, I just want to delete the whole thing. So instead of doing redlining, I'm gonna turn redlining off. So now I can make changes and I don't need anybody to go back and review them or take a second look. I'm just saying, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and you know, this isn't needed anymore. So I can come here and I can obviously start deleting what I need to. Uh, maybe it's just this whole paragraph I wanna delete. I can also just delete the entire section if that is the case. So let's just go ahead and do that. You can see now it is gone. Um, so, you know, those changes have been made. Unlike the redlining, I'm not really able to go back and change that now. I can see here in the document activity, you know, that um, certain things are happening. A, a whole section was deleted. It'll tell you who deleted it and different things like that. So that is kind of nice. The next part to mention here is that you can also notify. So when I make changes here, any other users that are currently on this contract will be notified of my changes via email. So, you know, if I said, um, you know, random changes, I'm gonna hit save. Now, if I go look at everybody else who is on here, they are gonna be getting an email saying that I made some changes to this document. And I can pause here to kind of show you guys what that would look like. So as you can see here, I am one of the parties on that contract. I, because I checked that I wanted others to be notified, now I got this email instantaneously saying, you know, a Vine Skills team member edited this section, and then I could click into here to review it.
So I went ahead and signed in as myself so that you can see what happens. Basically, I clicked that review button that I got in the email, and then I opened up this document here. It took me right to here. Um, it shows you basically from one version to the next what was changed. If you don't want to show the differences, you don't have to. I also have the option to restore this version. So that's pretty nice. I clicked into here to view that. You can do that with the um, three dots. And basically when I clicked into this, this little paragraph was um, kind of bolded, kind of standing out from the rest, meaning that this is the section that was edited and to review it. So that's kind of what it looks like when you request somebody to be notified and then they click into the notification changes there. So we have covered the red line, the notify, deleting a section, editing information that's in here. You know, at any point you can just kind of cursor in and then start typing more um, options there. And that's because I had on red line, but if you take this off, you know, you can start typing whatever you want in there. So another thing to note too, is if you decide to leave on your red line, but you also want to delete an entire section, we can go ahead and see what that looks like. Now you can see that this section has been marked for deletion, but it didn't actually delete. And the nice thing is when you kind of click onto this, I can either confirm or I can restore this section, which is pretty cool. As long as you have that um, red line kept on, you can do that versus, you know, when you don't and you just click delete, it is gone. So it's always kind of nice to leave red line on, especially if you aren't sure, just because you can always go back and restore those changes. Kind of the last thing to note here, you can kind of see it hovering over here, is how you can actually comment on specific paragraphs. So you would want to find the paragraph that you want to comment on, and then you can start adding your comments. Maybe, you know, this, if applicable, we, we might want to send a question to somebody, you know, and I think I have my cap blocks on. Do we need this section? I can comment on here and now you can see as soon as I comment, this will stay blue and kind of highlighted, kind of alerting you to that. Um, so that is pretty nice. And then you can also get those as notifications. So I'm back in my inbox now and just kind of show you what that notification looks like. It's pretty much instantaneous as you can see here. And then it's gonna be whoever is making that comment. Right now I'm signed in as the Vine Skills team, just a generic email. Um, and it's asking, you know, do we need this section? So if I was signed in as me, I could then just click on this review button. It's going to take me to that contract and I can review this comment and comment back on it. So that is pretty cool there. Oops. Let's just jump in here. So, you know, I can do the same. I can continue commenting on things and then I can now sign in as myself just so that you can see how that comment thread back and forth goes. So I have signed in as myself up here, and then I clicked on that button in my email. It took me here. So now I can say, oh, do we need this section? I can say, you know, no, we don't. I can comment on there. And then I can also either clear or resolve this. If I clear this, that's going to delete all the comments and automatically resolve. If I resolve it, we're still gonna have the comments. The nice thing is this actually isn't gonna show up on your final contract. This is just kind of something that you can note on the back end as you know different changes and kind of versions that have happened within the document there. So I can kind of show you what that looks like as the, you know, my other comment comes in. I can also edit this, you know, if we need to. Um, but let me just kind of show you guys what that looks like coming in as an email. So I just wanted to show you how those different notifications would come in via email and kind of what they look like. So the first one is when I commented back, I just commented back, no, we don't. It comes in very much the same as our other notifications. Once I click on this and I'm signed in as the right profile, I would be able to go back and see in the document those changes being made. I can also click into here and this is the one where I resolve the comment. So once I resolved it, it's actually going to say that I resolved the comment, comment there. And when I go back into the document, you're not going to see that anymore. And then the last one is, this is just a new comment that I was testing so that we got a notification about it. And I also cleared that one out. So when I click back into our document, you'll see that there is no longer, um, you know, any, any comment thread that's going to show up on the final document. 
So we are back in my document. You notice before that this was um, blue, and that means that basically there was a new comment made, a new notification and everything. If I still click onto here, it's grayed out. You can still see this, but this has now been resolved. So that's no longer gonna be blue. I also made a comment up here, I believe, and cleared it out. Maybe it was on a different section. Um, but basically that has been cleared out. So when I download this document to view it, you can see here, we were commenting on this section here. There's actually no comments made to the side. So nobody else on this contract, once it's finalized and sent and all of you know your comments are made, nobody's actually going to see that. And that's kind of the benefit you know, of working out of this section and just commenting directly on the, you know, outlaw interface instead of sending email chains back and forth, you know, things get lost, things get missed. This keeps everything in one document, easy to edit, easy to track, and, you know, kind of continue like that. Just a couple things to note with the commenting um, that basically anytime anybody comments on here, anybody else that this document is shared with, you know, that is over here in the contract tab, um, they will be getting a notification. So it's not just one person on the contract, it's gonna be everyone. So just be mindful of that as you're commenting. It's usually not a big deal, but you know, sometimes if maybe if you're making changes before you want your client to see them, you don't wanna necessarily add them in right away. Um, you know, um, of course, if there's a different workflow, maybe if you're working on like a demand AI sector or something like that, you'd want your client, since it is a client facing service to see those comments going back and forth and being made. Something else to note here is that, um, anybody's able to comment and when a comment is made, anybody can then resolve it. So it's not tied to just, you know, specific permissions or anything like that. Anybody can resolve a comment, um, by opening the comment thread and clicking resolve there. And like I had already demonstrated before over here on our final export is that a comment thread is not part of the final legal document and it does disappear as the comment is marked resolved. However, there is a conversation, you know, record of the conversation maintained. So, you know, if you come back here and we can take a look, um, you can see, you know, if we click into comments, we can view different items here and basically just different events and activity that happened within this contract. So, um, you know, that is kind of, you can still view that and know that changes were made, but it's not necessarily gonna show up on your final contract. So I hope this is helpful.